We see audio equipment advertised as being capable of delivering frequencies beyond 20,000 Hz. For example, this DT990 Pro from Bayer Dynamics advertises up to 35 kHz. But the question is, can you actually hear it? And if you can't, why are you paying for it? In today's test, we want to find out what you can really pick up. Let's get to it. So as usual in my video, upfront summary first, I am pretty sure you can't pick up anything that's beyond 20 kHz. I don't want to be divisive here and generalize that no one can because I'm sure some superhuman amongst us out there can. And for myself, I will say I can't actually reliably pick up anything beyond 16 kHz. So how did I test this and can you do the test? Yes, this is what today's video is about. I've thought about how to deliver this test over YouTube and I'm sharing that test with you. So I will deliver a series of frequencies all the way from 20 Hz up to 20 kHz in various distinct steps. Each generated frequency will last for about 10 seconds. And in that 10 seconds, ask yourself, are you able to hear it? Are you able to pick up the frequency that is being played? And then as you move on, you will reach a point where you cannot hear the frequency anymore. So at that point in time, register the next frequency step as the maximum that you should be telling yourself that you can pick up reliably. So for example, if I can hear 16 kilohertz, but I can't hear 17 kilohertz, then I'll say, 17 kilohertz is probably the limit that I should be telling myself. I don't need equipment that delivers anything more than 17 kilohertz. So I hope this test will be able to convince you. So a couple of things before we start the test proper. Make sure that you're using headphones or earphones and preferably they are closed back so that you can block out external sounds that might interfere with the frequencies that are being played back to your ears. Next thing, you also need to ensure that you are not disturb and you are in a quiet environment because you don't want external sounds to actually disturb the frequencies and trick yourself into hearing those frequencies and you think that you can hear something. You want to make sure that your surrounding is as quiet as possible. And the last and most important thing is to be honest with yourself. Just be truthful so that you can find out what you can really hear. Now I'd like to deliver a very, very fair warning before we start the test proper. So humans, we perceive frequencies differently. Your ears are different from mine. Your sensitivity levels are different from mine. And above 12 kilohertz, it might start to sound a little bit softer to some people. If you can't hear it, do not compensate by increasing the volume such that you can and you can tell yourself that, hey, you can hear it because even if you can't hear them, it doesn't mean that the signal is not playing. The signal is still playing and it might be playing with quite a lot of power and you don't want that to harm your hearing. So the first step and the most important step that we will take first is that we want to calibrate the volume. The next slide, I will play a one kilohertz tone and you base your volume control on that one kilohertz tone. Increase the volume to the point where it is as loud as you can comfortably listen to it. So make sure that it is loud enough so it can pick up all the frequencies, but not so loud as to be irritating your ears or hurting your ears even. So let's get right to it. First, the one kilohertz tone will play and then the test will start proper.
So, did you manage to hear the sound that was played above 20 kilohertz? Well, I'm sorry, but actually there was nothing that was being played. So if you told yourself that you have heard something, then I'm sorry, but you do need to be completely truthful and honest in this test. You don't have to lie to yourself. I urge you to play the video again, try the test out again, but this time be honest with yourself. Again, if you can hear all the frequencies right up to 20 kilohertz, I think that is great. Your hearing is perfect. You should invest in equipment that will play up to 20 kilohertz. I think beyond that, it's kind of hard to imagine that anyone can hear anything beyond that. So do leave your comments in the comment section below and share with us what you really can hear. This is the level that you should be chasing. And if you're still enjoying your music now, then this level is good enough. Maybe there's no need to chase any higher frequency response equipment or sound sources. So I certainly hope that you have found today's video useful and I urge you to share this with your family and friends and get them to do the test and get them to test their hearing. It might be quite amusing to find out the level that each individual's hearing is at and how they compare with yours. So I'll see you in my next video.